Video today, Jelani Day was last seen alive in Bloomington. He was found dead 60 miles north along the Illinois River in Peru. It's Thursday evening. I'm Tyra Lopez. And I'm Amber Kriska. Thank you for joining us. His family is still looking for answers. Lizzie Siles talked with his mother and how she's taken that search upon herself. Lizzie. Tyler and Amber, there are many unanswered questions related to Jelani Day's death. The coroner determined he died from drowning, and police say no evidence indicates someone was present at the scene. Day's mother maintains he was murdered, and now she says photos from the crime scene prove he didn't die alone. Carmen Bolden Day worries she didn't speak up enough in the early days of her son's disappearance. I should have been assertive. I should have been that angry black mother. I should have been more forceful. I should have been more intent about how I wanted them to move when looking for my son. But I was giving them the benefit of the doubt. In the two years since her son disappeared and was mysteriously found dead weeks later, miles away from his university, she's taken it upon herself to stay on top of the case. Jelani Day was working towards a master's in speech pathology at Illinois State University. He would have graduated this year. Police indicated he was alone and barefoot when he died. But Bolden Day says these footprints at the scene show he wasn't alone. I need this to be termed as what it is. It is a murder investigation. Emails posted on the Jelani Day Foundation Facebook page show Peru's chief of police saying there was no evidence to suggest anyone was with Jelani when the body was found. Before, and they don't have the expertise to handle an investigation like this. They don't have the tools um, to handle an investigation like this. And to me, it's an ego thing where they don't even have um, enough sense to ask for help. The Chicago Division of the FBI told 25 News the $10,000 reward for information is still active, but they can't provide other updates. We reached out to Peru Police Chief Sarah Raymond and Bloomington Police Chief Jamal Singleton, but did not hear back. All of these departments are a part of the Jelani Day Task Force. Bolden Day is still grieving while trying to understand what happened. I see his sister doing something. I can hear his voice chiming in. He would call me at a certain time in the morning. You know, there's television shows that remind me of him. It's, there's a lot of different things. She's honoring him through the Jelani Day Foundation, which aims to support other families of color search for a missing loved one. The Foundation's all-white remembrance dinner in uh, remembrance of Jelani was supposed to happen this month, but it has been delayed so the family can focus on the case. The dinner will instead take place next February. You can find more information on our website, 25newsnow.com.